Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So in this video, I'm diving into how different compression techniques can dramatically shape your music preparing your tracks for a professional release. Before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mastered, request a quote at bsmachine.com and receive 50% off your first order. I would also very much appreciate it, guys, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Your support really helps me to bring more content. And now, without any further ado, let's get started. First, uh, let's define what compression actually is. It's a crucial scene in music production used to control the dynamics of an audio signal. By reducing the volume of loud sounds and boosting quieter ones, compression achieves a balanced uniform sound across your track. Type of compression techniques. Serial compression. This technique involves using multiple compressors in a series, each with uh, unique settings. I typically start with a tube compressor to add warmth and color to the sound early in the chain, followed by a VCA compressor for precise dynamic control. This approach is particularly beneficial for enhancing harmonic content before fine-tuning the dynamics. Today I will uh, demo this using two of my favorite digital compressors, the UART Tube Fairchild 670 for its rich warmth and the Vertigo VSC3, the Mercedes of VCA compressors for its exacting control. Let's listen to a track with this type of compression. Next, parallel uh, compression, also known as New York uh, compression. This technique blends an uncompressed signal with a heavily compressed version of itself. This method is excellent for maintaining the natural dynamics of the track while still achieving significant volume reduction, which is particularly useful for delicate pieces like an acoustic guitar recordings. Here's how I set it up. Uh, threshold fully down, ensuring the compressor is always engaged. Attack as fast as possible. Well, uh, 10 milliseconds, say. Uh, to aggressively control transients. Release slow about two seconds to maintain a transparency ratio. Mild set it to 1.5 to 1 and blend 50-50 mix of wet and dry signals. For this demo, I'll be using the Tone Project's Unison compressor, a favorite for its versatility. And now let's uh, listen to a track with this type of compression. Thank you. 
And uh, finally, multiband compression. This technique splits the audio into different frequency bands, each compressed separately, allowing for precise control over specific frequency ranges without affecting the entire mix. My settings for this are typically attack and uh, release, both set to a slow 100 milliseconds to keep things cohesive. Ratio, a gentle 2 to 1, equ equ um, equally applied across all bands. To demonstrate this, I'll be using the TC Electronic MD4HD, a top choice for digital multiband compression. So, let's listen to a track with this type of compression. <laughs> Mastering engineers use these compression techniques based on the genre, desired sound and specific needs of the project. Combining these tools strategically can yield the best results, perfectly tailored to each track. 